comes the rain. It's been a wet, wet summer. Not a lot of sun this year. Excellent fishing and lots of rain. <laughs> Traveling in Alaska's weather requires some forethought. We generally don't walk off the plane and right into the lodge we're staying at for the week. So travel days are oftentimes long. In Alaska, you have to be prepared for extended travel. So if you're flying out to a remote lodge in Alaska, it's a good idea to check with the lodge facility and find out if there's going to be any extended travel. In our case, not just for our clothes, but for our camera gear, watertight bags, or at least reasonably water resistant bags, are absolutely mandatory because you will get wet either from rain or splash or perhaps falling in the creek. Um, in most cases, the plane isn't going to land at the dock. In a lot of cases, you're going to be getting in a boat like we are here and traveling on to a camp or lodge. So it's a great idea to have a rain jacket, maybe even rain pants and some boots uh, in case you got to get in the water or wade. Sometimes even hip boots are necessary, but check with the lodge or the outfitter and find out for sure so you're prepared. It's a good idea to keep all your rain gear easily accessible, whether it's in a hand carry which is what I would suggest, or in a in the top of your bag where you can just whip it out and you can get that out and get it on. And probably something warm. A fleece wouldn't be a bad idea either because this is uh, August and we're, we're a little chilly right here. 